Good morning friends i hope everyone is doing well i request everyone to watch my videos in a sequence for better understanding till now we have discussed what is a grammar what is a language and what is a mathematical model all these things we have studied even we have constructed a finite automata dfa non non nfa and then epsilon nfa all these things we have done and even in the last video we have discussed about chomsky classification like type 0 grammar type 1 grammar type 2 grammar type 3 grammar all these things we have discussed now in this video i want to discuss about the relation between a grammar a language and model is it clear let's watch it chomsky has classified the grammars into type 0 type 1 type 2 type 3 and even we said that type 0 grammar is an unrestricted grammar type 1 is context sensitive grammar type 2 is a context free grammar and type 3 is a regular grammar and even we have discussed what are the rules and what are the restrictions are there in each grammar now i want to tell if you have a grammar what kind of long ways it will generate as we know that a grammar generates a long ways but if a type 0 grammar is there meaning is that it is an unrestricted grammar what kind of long ways it will generate and for that long ways what kind of mathematical model i can uh, find it out all these things we will discuss now if it is a type 0 grammar or unrestricted grammar i can generate a recursively enumerable long ways is it clear if it is a context free grammar or type 1 grammar i can generate context sense to long ways i have written in a shortcut as c s l context sense to long ways now context free grammar or type 2 grammar generates context free long ways and type 3 is a regular grammar generates a long ways called regular long ways okay so i hope you have understood what gra grammar will generate what kind of long ways now we will discuss for a long ways what kind of model we can represent okay recursively enumerable long ways are represented using turing missions okay Context sensitive long ways are represented using linear bounded automata. In shortcut, we will write it as LBA, linear bounded automata. Context free long ways can be represented using push down automata, PDA, push down automata. Regular long ways are represented using finite automata. We have already discussed about what are the various types of finite automata are there. Finite automata with output finite automata without output we have discussed about mill emission more emission we have discussed about construction process of dfa nfa epsilon nfa all these things now maybe after watching this video you would have got a doubt so till now i have constructed a dfa you have asked me to construct a dfa for a given language i have done if it is possible now my doubt you, you would have got a doubt it is it a regular language or not Obviously, if you would have constructed either a DFA or NFA or Epsilon, it is a regular grammar. Now, you got another doubt that, sir, if it is regular long ways or not, how I can identify? Now, remember one thing. For any long ways, if you can construct a DFA or NFA, Epsilon NFA, if you can construct any of these three, then we will say that that long ways is a regular long ways. Then you can ask me, sir, is there any long ways is there which is not a regular long ways? Yes, there is some long ways are there which are not regular long ways. Meaning is that we cannot construct a finite automata for it. All these things we will discuss. And you may you may have a doubt, sir, what is the context free long ways? How we, what is the representation? And what is the context sense to long ways? All these things you have a doubts. Don't worry. You keep your doubts like that only. I will clear all your doubts one by one in coming videos. Okay. How can we check whether a given long ways is regular long ways or not? We should not construct a DFA, all these things. That is one way. But we have a pumping lemma theorem to check whether a given long ways is regular long ways or not. All these things we will discuss one by one in the coming videos. Thank you for watching my videos. If you have any doubts, feel free to ask it in the comment section. I will clear your doubts in less than 24 hours. And I request everyone to give your feedback. If it is a positive feedback, it will motivate me to teach further. If it is any suggestions or negative feedback, I will try to improve myself. 
and i request everyone to subscribe my channel for regular updates thank you so much